Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use flat list in React Native with TypeScript. If you go on official website of React Native, you see that we have this example of flat list. So we are going to implement how we can use such kind of flat list in React Native with TypeScript. So you see that we have a data as a item that we are going to display in a list. So here we have the text displaying flat list. So I just do something. I say flat list example like this. Save this and I design some CSS for this. So I say style sheet styles dot container first one. Then I need for text also so I say style equal to styles dot text so we have a container we have a text so I put here these objects I say container here I say flex one justify content center alignment to the item I say center so save this you see we have in the center then I take one more I say text here I say font size font size to 30 save this you see and i can say font weight also font weight to bold and save it so we have like this after that i just design the flat list i take another view here better to take under the view then i take flat list flat list here then under this flat list first thing is you see it's generating some error we have to pass some value First thing is to pass a data. So we pass data in the form of data variable which we created array here. We have data array like this that we pass here. If you see the official document here, we have a data. We are passing data here. Then we have a rendering and key extractor. We see it one by one. So data we have passed. Second is key extractor. Key extractor means the key value on which we will decide the index of this. So we have a ID as a key generator. So we just use this key extractor. Under this we have a function. Under this function we have a arrow function. And in this arrow function we pass the item like this. And I say item dot ID. So item dot ID would be the it's saying the type of value which we want to pass in the item it's saying that remember that this error if you will see that online there is no error at a time here we do not have any kind of error you see we do not have any error here and they are saying in typescript that you can use this like this but you see here we have an error it's saying error why because you have to decide the type of it what is this type that we have to pass for that i create type here I say type and I say data type data type equal to here I say ID of number type and and I say a title of string type so like this data type we have and in data type we will pass this data type here so first of all I say enter and here I pass the data type so this is the data type that we need to pass here and here we are passing item so you see that it is saying a problem here because this id which we are generating here it should be string type so i need to take this as a string type that is the problem here because this id should be of a string type i think here so i am creating it as a string i am taking it a number here but it need a string so i need to create this id as a string also that is the problem here i save this and you see that error is gone because we have specified this id as a string so i need to pass this data type as a string and you can see that this is not mentioned in official website of this so it is not mentioned here but i am just telling you that how to solve this error because by default this is a string type this id is a string type the key extractor should be of a string type so here I convert it into a string. If you take number, then it will generate error in TypeScript, but in JavaScript, automatically convert into a string. That is not problem in JavaScript. If you take TypeScript, then it generate error. Now, second thing, the main thing is 
we have the render you see we have a render item that we have to take now render item will display the list so i take this here and you see now we take render item here we take this arrow function and under this arrow function and here i need item this item and uh, now i need to pass here the text value that i want to display so i say text here under this text i want to pass uh, item dot you see item dot id uh, item dot title that i want to display like this way so this item dot title i want to display here and i save this and you will see that list will display with these item you see first second third fourth fifth sixth the item is coming but is not looking like a list so we do some modification here for that what i do you see that here in this screen we have these section container we have title description highlight so from top of this screen we need some 32 type of this padding we need so i copy this and i put this under this container i try to put and save this you see so we have this flat example and we have pending from the horizontal is 24. now i need to give some uh, padding or information uh, CSS type of setting for flat list so that's why I am giving here style so I say style dot uh, dot I say flat list flat list style I want so I create one more object here I say flat list in this I say uh, margin from the top margin from the top is I say 20 pixel I save this yeah we have top here now i need to pass uh, some setting to the individual item so the text property i want to design this so what i do here uh, i say so this text property i say style dot title so that title i want to decide so i create here i say title and here i say background color the background color is I say the same color I take that is looking good the pink color which we have so I take this color so uh, for that I can take uh, decide I just pass here this color first of all and I do formatting and uh, title background color and uh, that I need to create a view on this I need to create a view because for view I will decide this color so under this I cut this and I paste here the view and under this view I pass a style and I say this styles is item title this item title I want to create so item title would be your background so I say item title will have the background color like this you see and i need to uh, put color for title so here i say color for title is we can say color is red so i say it is red right now then i say or i can give blue color or i can say font size font size to uh, 30 save this you see font size we have and I can say uh, padding also so I say padding that should be of 10 pixel save this so we have padding also uh, then uh, I need width and height of this so I try to give width to the view so I say width of this view is I try to give 95% if it is take save this so the width is not coming 95% so I take here 300 pixel save this you see so uh, i provide more i say 400 pixel yes i say 430 save this for 450 so it's a maximum size i think so i say 400 pixel is the maximum size here then i need to give some margin so i say margin from the bottom so first of all comma then i say margin from the bottom I need 5 or 4 pixel so you see the gap will come it will show like a list 
then I can say uh, border border radius border radius to 5 pixel you see it will turn down from all the sides so uh, then I can reduce some size so I say 380 I say 380 and I reduce more I say 350 save this you see so I can say 360 save this yeah or you can see that same designing same style sheet we have taken here vertical you see padding we have color we have and we have margin vertical and margin horizontal we are taking here but we take only one margin from the both side right so we have designed this item flat list you see that we have a flat list so this uh, uh, we can increase some size also and we can increase the padding size i say 15 so it will increase the size of this list also you see and we can uh, put uh, these list into the center if we want but we don't want like this and you see if i increase the size of these list this list if i increase the size then automatically we will have a scrolling also but for that i need to change the indexing i say 7 then i say 8 then i say 9 and here i say 7th then i say 8th we say 9th save this you see we have automatically scrolling also so you see like this way we can create list but you see there is a problem here if i click here so it would not response on which i am clicking the no response for mouse click so if you want to give the clicking here or mouse click you want to give for that uh, uh, we can give here touchable opacity so uh, what i do i just here do touchable i say touchable opacity from react native like this so i cut this and I paste it here and I save it you will see that now I will click and it will behave like a button you see but it's not displaying the result so we can do this also we have to pass some setting here so I say on press on press we have one function here so on press here I pass a one function that function name is I say selected list selected list function and here I'm passing item dot whatever you want to display uh, suppose you want to display uh, the title so i say title here so i'm passing here selected list and then i'm passing the title to this function to display the item which you have click so for that i need to create a function so i create function here i say const uh, selected i say list equal to arrow function and this arrow function will have the title of string type and this is selected you see we have this item selected list and this is saying that we are not using this so we will use it and i say here alert dot alert we have alert here this alert we are taking from react native and i say alert and i am displaying this value i say title here and i save this and you will see that whenever I will click on this, it will display the list which has first item selected. Then I click here, it will display the fourth item selected. Click here, it's the sixth item selected, you see. So we can display the information which we want with the help of touchable like this way. And I say formatting, shift, alt and F. So automatically it will do formatting, you see. So like this way, we design here, we use here flat list we pass the data to flat list we just put this rendering property and everything we done with the help of react native with the typescript you see so here one problem is there that whenever we click on this the item is not selected means there is no color change here for selection item so we will see how we can do this selected list how we can make selected list in the next video in this video i explain you how to use flat list next video i will show you how you can customize it and you can make it selectable also if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video